Kodak SSDs and flash drives? I just had to try them. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a fun one, right? What I did is I actually went to a site called Temu, it's T-E-M-U, and I'm not recommending them, I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that, and I was browsing. So I'm just gonna show you some examples over here. You can go ahead and take a look at this. So there's a site that basically is kind of almost like a wish.com, but I think better, and I looked at it and they sell all different kinds of electronics and everything else for dirt cheap, right? So you can see the site here, it's crazy. They have all these thousands and thousands and millions of products. So it got me thinking. I was kind of going through here and I was just looking, and I came across this over here. This was like 3548. This is going to be a Kodak series portable SSD drive, right? Well, with my channel basically raking in zero, I figured that's a little steep for me, right? So what I wanted to do is I said, well, I still love Kodak, all right? Because Kodak, when I was growing up, was one of those companies that in the 80s and the 90s, it was like the number one company out there as far as, you know, the, you know, you can remember like the cameras that used to have instant film. And it was just fun. The brand Kodak is fun. And then they went away and I think they got bought out by somebody else. Not even sure this is really Kodak. But anyways, I saw this, but I'm like, this is too steep for me. So then what I did is I started looking and I said, well, maybe Kodak makes another SSD that's for in my price range, right? So then I found this one, $12.98, 128 gig. It's a 2.5 inch SSD SATA drive. Here's the box over here. I'll show you close-ups as I'm talking. And over here, I have it actually in an enclosure, but I'll get into that in a second. So I ended up buying this thing. And then I said, well, geez, I made a video a while ago where I did some really, you know, basically good external storage for about 27 bucks. How cheap can I actually go here? So I started looking, so I bought this drive here. This drive, again, it, it claims that it's up to, let me just see here, it says it's up to 550 megabytes per second, 510 megabytes per second on the rights. And then it also says it you know, has trim and everything else, but and there's different sizes here, you can see them. But I got the 128, it's 1298, all right? So then I said, I gotta get the enclosure here too, and I'll do a video, see how cheap I can go. Now this is the part that really got, went kind of south. I found this one, take a look at my screen. $4.18, $4.18, and basically, I'll show you some close-ups, it's probably worth that. It's made of the cheapest plastic in the world, comes with the proprietary cable on this side, but a USB-A on that side, but it is 3.0, right? So I should be able to get at least fairly good speeds from this thing and create an external storage drive. So what that, this is kind of the video, right? I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know, show you exactly what I built, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do a speed test on not only the speed on, on Blackmagic, I'm also gonna do a speed test of moving a two gigabit file and show you how fast this configuration is. All in on this thing, 17 bucks or 16 something. So how, that's about as cheap as I can go, about 17 bucks on this. And I figured, you know, just for the you know, nostalgia of Kodak and just growing up with them and stuff, it's gonna be fun, right? But on top of it, I also noticed a couple things. They sell these on Amazon, and they actually, I'll have links to all this on Amazon, but they sell all these things on Amazon, so it's a legitimate uh, SSD drive. They have newer versions only, not this exact version, but newer, faster versions up there. I'll link to it, but again, I'm not recommending anything. I'm just showing you. This is kind of a conversation piece more than anything, right? And if you're gonna be serious saying this is stupid, and you know, obviously go watch something else because this is just for fun, right? All right, so I'm gonna pair those two together. And then finally, at the end of the video here, I'm gonna go ahead and just show you this thing. I picked up this flash drive, again, by Kodak. It's incredibly cool. It's got this leather strap. I'll show you close-ups in a second. Long story short, though, 64 gigabytes and uh, let me just go here to my screen. Here it is here, $5.98. So how does this thing, you know, how fast is this as well? And does it work and all that stuff? So I'm gonna blow up my computer. Does all this stuff work? Sit back and relax and let's get into it. All right, so when the SSD arrived, it arrived in about two weeks from Timu and uh, I was actually pretty shocked by that. Everything came through as they said and uh, the enclosure again is very, very inexpensive. I'll show you some close-ups of that. Um, but the box and everything as far as the SSD seemed normal. It seemed like it was the right weight, didn't seem cheap. Kodak SSD seems pretty cool, right? So anyways, I went ahead and I just took off the lid. I think I cracked it on the way because it's so cheap of plastic as far as the lid of this actually enclosure. But then basically I put the SSD in there, I seated it right in there. And uh, what I did is I ran the test now. See, this is a USB-A cable right here, right? If I go through a hub over here, it's gonna be very slow probably. So I went, I have a 2017 iMac over there. So I'm gonna plug it in there and then I'm gonna go ahead and show you. But what I did is I went ahead and I formatted this right here as XFAT, all right? It wasn't formatted, I'll show you some 
screens as I'm talking, but I went ahead and I did it as XFAT, and, uh, and then at the end of the day, I can use that between a PC and my Mac, and you shouldn't lose too much speed there, so I made that XFAT. Everything initialized perfectly fine, as you can see, and uh, it works, so that's, that's the first part. It showed, obviously, the right space and everything on here, and at the end of the day, you know, I got past phase one, all right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the speed test, and let's get into that, and then we'll see kind of how everything comes out. All right, so if you look over at my screen over here, I wanna show you, here's the speed test here. I just wanna show you that basically I did choose, I already selected the right drive, the Kodak drive back there. I'm gonna go ahead and start this. So on Blackmagic, take a look at this. It gets almost 300 megabytes per second, all right? That's on the writes, and then on the reads, what's it get? About 354 or something on the reads. So again, the writes, let's do one more test here, 392 almost let's say almost 300 and then for the for the uh, reads over here is going to be about 353 so that's not too bad huh so overall you get a pretty good speed there right and i mean basically for uh, 16 17 bucks everything seems to be working i've been using it for just a little while i can't go ahead and vouch for anything i'm not getting paid by anybody or anything like that this is all for fun but it seems like it's a good solution versus buying a flash drive in fact i would recommend it over a flash drive any day for sure all right, for this next test, let's just see how long it takes to move two terabyte file onto this exact drive. Just to show you that it works really good. It should take about six seconds. Here on my screen, you can take a look at it. I have a file here. I'll go ahead and just do get info. You can see over here, it's about 2.1 gigabytes, just slightly over two gigabytes there. So let's go ahead and move this. First, I'm gonna open up the Kodak drive here just to kind of just show you how fast this is gonna be. Let's go ahead and just drop this in. I just dropped it in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven done so about six to seven seconds and that's exactly what it should be 300 megabytes per second divided by 2.1 gigabits maybe around six or seven seconds so what do you think i mean obviously i've been moving some bigger files into this thing and all that kind of stuff combined and everything works really good and i spent 16 bucks so if you're thinking about a codec i'll again links to the description and stuff but uh, you're on your own if you buy it through Timu because I have no idea, no affiliation. I don't know even what's going to happen with anything that you buy. But if you buy it through Amazon or something, these are legit, it seems like. They actually work really well. And again, I'm not saying you purchase these things just because they're to Kodak or anything like that. But for me, it was worth it just as kind of a fun thing to do and a fun project. And I use it for backup all the time. And, uh, you know, for a cheap backup storage solution, it's not too bad. Oh, yeah, and one extra thing. It did come with this thing, and it does say it has a three-year warranty on the drive. That's really good. I think the enclosure I chose, I would definitely choose a different one. This one here probably comes with maybe a three-day uh, warranty on it or something like that if it gets one. But uh, the drive is actually a lot better than the enclosure. All right, and then really quickly, this is a bonus. I, I did pick up this flash drive like I mentioned. This thing's actually really cool. So it's all aluminum. It says Kodak on it. Again, you have that feeling of the 80s and 90s. Comes with a leather strap. I think it's actually maybe real leather. I'm not sure. And the cool part is, I'll show you a close up, is you can switch it between USB A on this side and USB C on this side, so it just rotates like this. And you can actually go ahead and plug it into USB A or USB C. So let's go ahead and do a couple things here. So I actually am gonna go ahead and plug this in, give me one second. All right, so it's plugged into the computer and it was actually pre-formatted as XFAT by itself when it came out of the box. So here it is over here. So what I wanna do is, let me go ahead and move it over here. So I wanna go ahead and let's go into speed test in here. So black magic, I'm gonna open this up. Let me go ahead and make sure I select the right drive here. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna select this little Kodak drive here and click open. So let's go ahead and do a speed test on this. Now I'm only expecting like most cheap flash drives do like 20 megabytes per second, maybe 30, you know, on the, the maybe 30 in the reads, 20 in the right. So I'm not expecting much here. Again, this was $6, $6 for this thing. So let's see what this thing does. All right. It's starting out way faster, but it's getting slower, but it's actually performing way better than I thought. Look at this thing. So I'm not gonna let it go all the way, but it's probably like, well, I got to, because I got to see the other part here. So let me come back in a second, but it's around 40 megabytes per second on the writes. And finally, the reads are coming in and I'm actually shocked by this. So the reads look like they're a lot faster. I have 105 maybe megabytes per second for this little thing, 105 megabytes, 106. We got up higher, almost 107. What do you know? So at the end of the day, that thing was six dollars. Thing performs fairly well. You can move files to it very quickly. I've done that, and again, it's moving it around. You know, like I said, the reads and writes depending on how fast it is. But I mean, it's it's still shockingly better than I thought it would be. Um, you know, the reads are going to be a little bit better than the writes, so you're going to take a little bit longer. But it's you know compared to other flash drives, it's actually probably better than most of them. So. 
What did I learn from all this after having all this fun and stuff like that? Well, I set out to kind of make the cheapest storage I could. I bought this drive here, and the drive works fine. They're on Amazon. They're actually legitimate drives. I don't know who actually owns Kodak any longer. It's probably some Chinese company. I believe that's what it is. Long story short, though, very, very nice, all right? And then at the end of the day, the, the enclosure. So I got the 300 or 350 megabytes per second on this really inexpensive enclosure, which is probably gonna break tomorrow. So I would maybe invest a few more dollars, just maybe two or three more dollars, which I'll have a link on Amazon, where you can buy a little bit better enclosure for a SATA drive like this. And uh, overall, this is a solid backup solution, I think. Um, it does come with a three-year warranty, includes trim. Has, you know, it seems like it's got good reviews everywhere on Amazon at least. Now, if you buy anything through Timu, again, I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that, so you're on your own. Whatever happens, happens to you. I just wanted to kind of explain where I got it from. And uh, it's just a fun experiment, right? Brings back memories when we were a child and just the colors of Kodak and all the little, you know, the red little symbol here. I think a lot of people watching this might be too young to remember, but it was really one of the you know biggest technology companies, if you call it that, for cameras back then. And it was really fun. Um, but now things have changed and obviously they're don't even really exist. I think they got bought out a couple times. Here they are. So maybe support them with a couple purchases of a couple cheap drives like this, and let's keep them going. So at the end of the day, I hope you guys like these videos. If you can support me, it's gonna really help my channel out. I do crazy videos like this sometimes, but I do more serious stuff also, like reviews of this system and all the new systems for Macs. I also do some PC, some Chrome, you know, everything else, including hard drives and hubs and switches and you name it is on my channel. But I do like to save money, so I always try these like cheap things if you like that things that other YouTubers like Linus Tech and stuff won't touch with a 10-foot pole, so um, I'll touch it, but whatever. At the end of the day, let's wrap it up. I'll talk to everybody, hopefully in a couple days. Peace.